Scott Dasan here. I was uh, listening to that new inspirational slash motivational uh, uh, collection of speeches. And I think one of them was from Tyrese. And uh, at least that's what his, the voice sounded like. And well, he said something, that, and I'm going to try to quote exactly, and then I'm going to paraphrase and, and uh, put it in my own words. He said, for every level, there's another devil. For the longest time, I knew that every time something difficult came my way, all it was, was another test. There are things out there, every time you bridge a gap, every time you reach a success, there is something there that will try to deter you. There is temptation everywhere to be lazy, to cheat, to, I don't know what, just give up, I don't know. Just there are so many things that we, as the human species, not only sometimes aren't aware or even there. And I think that's where the biggest issue comes in, is not being able to determine through our senses what are the negative things, the things that should be there, blatant, obvious things, but they're not. Are we? Is it because we're used to it? Is it because we we don't we just we we don't have the energy? Like, what kind of an excuse? You you have to realize what the excuses you are giving yourself to your to allow yourself or things around you to happen once you begin to hear that voice because it's not going to be anything you don't recognize it's going to be in your voice you're the one that's making the decision to let something happen stop it you have to know which voice you're listening to it's going to be yours but it's going to be a different tone it's going to it, it will be an excuse. For instance, I was tired today. Um, and in, in, this, in the motivational speech, he was talking about, you know, fatherhood, spending time with your children. Well, at one point today, before going to work, I said, I'm going to take a nap. Well, I haven't been around my son probably for several hours today because we went to the hospital and had some stuff checked out so that we could um, make sure that uh, Mrs.'s hand was okay and not broken or whatever. Well, that rendered us not being at home with our son. I decided that because I just ate and ate too much, I was full, I became tired, sluggish, that I needed a nap. And my son wasn't even napping yet. So, and, and I did think about it. I was like, oh, I'll wake up and, you know, spend some time with him then. Well, I woke up, and he was kind of ready for a nap himself. You know, acting all, you know, not wanting to be lovey-dovey or hanging out or nothing. Well, anyways, I lost that time, that half hour, 45 minutes, that I could have been playing with him. Could have been engaging him. That's something I will never get back. Now, granted, do you need naps sometimes? Yeah. Well, for me, I still think... It puts a distasteful whatever in my mouth. It's just, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that I decided that I needed a nap. I really don't. I think I should have pushed through. I should have came to work, worked out, swam some laps, and just grinded out the rest of the day knowing that I didn't take a nap so I could spend some time with my son. And my lady. I am in a position to start making changes in my life. And I'm not willing to listen to the excuses anymore. I've been listening to them for a long time. If somebody else starts giving themselves excuses, I can make a change. 
for what I do, I can react to something differently and be the example. I am in control of me. That's it. I'm not in control of my boy. There ain't no way I'm in control of my boy. But I can help correct him, you know? I mean, it's just, the list goes on. It's endless. That's what life is. It's endless. I mean, it comes to an end, but... Anyways, you have to identify the excuses. Once you identify those, you'll begin to know what it is that will happen again. It will come back. The same temptations will come back. Oh, I could just take five minutes. Nah. I used to question. I used to go with, uh, we call them employers, um, back when I was working for Step. And I went to a hospital multiple times with my employer. And I noticed nurses walking all the way around the building. Like the, the, the like it was like a city block. Well, I was wondering, aren't they on their feet all day long? Like, why are they walking? Like, they have to be walking, you know, the the quota, you know, because they have like a Fitbit on or whatever. Well, then I thought, well, they're not giving up. They're not taking breaks for breaks. They're using that time to get in what they feel they should be getting in. They're using downtime productively for them, for their goals. Walking. Simple. Simple thing. Instead of sitting and eating. Doesn't mean you couldn't eat and walk at the same time. Make sure it's light, you know. Go back to work. Boom. Well, I don't know. There's just a lot of things that I think I need to get back to doing. Because there's some things I just don't like, you know, that are going on in my life. And I need to make a change for the better. That's why I chopped my hair off. I was like, you know, you're getting scruff. Knock it off. I had the power to cut my own hair. I was worried about money. I wanted to go get my hair cut so I could keep my hair. I said, your family needs money. What are you doing? Just cut your hair. Shave. Well, I did. That's the end of my rant. This is Scott the Sun.